The Florida panther, Puma concolor corii, is critically endangered, listed federally as endangered due to extreme habitat loss, fragmentation from development and deadly vehicle collisions, with a small population, around 200 to 230, clinging to existence mainly in South Florida's Everglades and Big Cypress regions. While conservation efforts have helped slightly, threats remain high, making them one of North America's most imperiled mammals. Key threats and status, habitat loss, urban sprawl, highways, and agriculture shrink their necessary vast territories. A male needs 200 square miles. Road mortality, vehicle collisions are the biggest human cause of death with dozens killed yearly genetic issues. Small, isolated populations suffer from inbreeding, though Texas cougars were introduced in the 90s to help. Limited range, once across the southeast, they are now confined to less than 5% of their historic range in South Florida. Conservation efforts. Listed under the Endangered Species Act, it's illegal to harm them. Programs focus on habitat protection, creating wildlife corridors, and reducing road dangers, e.g. rumble strips. In short, panther usually refers to the Florida panther in the U.S., and they are definitely endangered, facing a constant battle for survival. Development are crucial for their recovery as they need large, connected landscapes to survive. Why they matter? They are an umbrella species, meaning protecting them also helps conserve the vast ecosystems and numerous other species that share their habitat. Please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you. Let's continue. Humans can help panthers by protecting and connecting their habitats, reducing road collisions through careful driving and wildlife crossings, supporting conservation organizations, and coexisting peacefully by securing pets and livestock, especially in panther territory. Large-scale conservation efforts focus on land acquisition, habitat restoration, like Everglades, and creating corridors for safe movement, while individual actions involve awareness, responsible land use, and supporting research.